I'll log back into the Trade Research Federation server as ADFS admin. To configure ADFS for the Tray Research domain, I'll open up the ADFS console. First, I'll open the Trust Policy Properties dialog box and configure the Federation Service URI. This value is case sensitive. Next, I'm going to confirm the value of the endpoint URL. Remember that the subject name of the server authentication certificate, which in this case is adfs-account.trayresearch.net, must match the host name of the endpoint URL, and I can see that it does here. I'll type a friendly name in the display name field, and then click OK. Now I'm going to create a new organization claim called proxy addresses. The proxy addresses claim can be used in case a user changes his email address, but still needs access to protected content. You can populate the proxy addresses attribute with the old email account and ADRMS will check it when issuing use licenses. This value is also case sensitive. Great care should be taken when allowing proxy addresses through a federated trust. If proxy addresses through federation are allowed, it is possible for a malicious user to spoof an authorized user's credentials and access the user's rights protected content. If proxy addresses through federation is a requirement of your organization, you should implement a claims transformation model that will examine a proxy address from a federated user and make sure that it matches the forest in which the request originated. The option to allow a proxy address from a federated user is turned off by default in the ADRMS console. Now I need to add an Active Directory account store through the Add Account Store wizard. After creating the account store, I need to open the email organization claim, select the enable checkbox, and type mail in the LDAP attribute box. Finally, I need to add a custom claim extraction for our new proxy addresses claim. Remember that Trey Research is the account partner and will be accessing the resource, which in this case is ADRMS in the CPNL forest. Therefore, I need to add CPNL Enterprises as a resource partner. You could configure your partner through exporting and importing policy files, which are created by right-clicking Trust Policy in the ADFS console and selecting Export Basic Partner Policy. Then you exchange the files with your partner and import them here on the Import Policy File page. Instead, I'm going to manually configure the resource partner. First, I'll add the display name, CPNL Enterprises. Next, I'll type the Federation Service URI, which remember is case sensitive. Then I'll type the Federation Service Endpoint URL. I'll select the UPN and email claims here and click Next. We need to pass the UPN and email suffixes through unchanged, so I'll select those options and click Finish. The final step is to create a new outgoing custom claim mapping for the proxy addresses claim. Now we are finished configuring ADFS on the tray research side. Now let's go back to the Federation server in the CPNL domain and configure ADFS there. I first log in to the CPNL Federation server as ADFS admin. And I'll open the ADFS console. I'll open the Trust Policy Properties dialog box and configure the Federation Service URI and confirm the Federation Service Endpoint URL. Notice that these two values match the values I entered when I added the resource partner in the Tray Research domain. I'll add a friendly name here and then click OK. Now I need to create the proxy addresses organization claim in this forest. I'll type proxy addresses under claim name, select custom claim, and click OK. I'll 
I'll create a new Active Directory Domain Services Account Store using the Add Account Store wizard. Just like the last account store, I need to enable and define the email identity claim. To finish the account store, I need to create a custom claim extraction for the proxy addresses claim we previously created. Now I need to add ADRMS as a claims aware application. To do this, I actually need to create two claims aware applications. One for the ADRMS certification pipeline and another for the ADRMS licensing pipeline. Let's start with the certification pipeline. The application URL is case sensitive and it must match the return URL value of the ADRMS server exactly. If the two values do not match, ADFS functionality will not work. I select the UPN and email identity claims and click Next. I ensure the application is enabled, click Next, and click Finish. The final step is to enable the proxy address's custom claim. Now I'll repeat the process to create the ADRMS licensing application. Notice that I'll change the application URL to reflect the licensing pipeline. When typing the application URL, make sure to close it with a forward slash. I select the UPN and email claims and click Next. I need to enable the proxy address's custom claim here as well. Now I need to add Trey Research as my account partner. It's important to remember that the Federation Service URI here must match the URI that your partner has configured in the ADFS Trust Policy. Also, the Federation Service Endpoint URL must be closed with a forward slash. Here, I must choose the TREA Research Verification Certificate, which I have already copied to this computer and placed in a folder I created called Certificates. The Verification Certificate is an export of the Token Signing Certificate minus its private key. You can copy the verification certificate to a file using the Trust Policy Properties dialog box. Or, the verification certificate is included in an exported basic partner policy which I discussed previously. I need to add both UPN and email suffixes as identity claims that I will accept from Trey Research. I'll add trayresearch.net for both pages and continue. The partner is enabled, so I click Next and then Finish. Finally, I right click the new partner, select New, and click Incoming Custom Claim Mapping, and I map it to the proxy address's custom claim. I've now finished installing and configuring ADFS in both forests. In my next video, I'll show you how to configure the ADRMS server to work with ADFS.